Welcome back to the Microsoft 365 Message Center update series with me, Mark Stokes. In this normal series, we're looking at the Message Center updates that Microsoft releases. This is how they notify you of changes to the Office 365 platform, what's coming, what's changing, when, what the implications are, and what you need to do. As usual, you've probably got the email already, and you've probably not read it, and that's why you're here. So we'll have a look through it today. What we're going to look at today is all about um, some changes, sorry, some introductions of text predictions into Outlook for Windows. So if we jump straight into the message center, let's see what they're saying. So th this has previously been announced, but this update um, of the 2nd of February, I believe it is, um, is a change to the rollout timeline. Okay, so text predictions um, are going to help Microsoft 365 users uh, write more efficiently by using intelligent technology to suggest uh, text during composition. For me, I think this suggests that um, people can't intelligently write their own email, so they need some help from some AI. That's probably true um, when you look at some of my emails that I send out. One thing that would be nice I, uh, with, for the AI, please, Microsoft, is if I get the person's name wrong when I say to, please can you let me know before I send it? That would be great. Thank you. Okay, so text predictions are... Um, uh, so Microsoft's extending support for text predictions to Outlook for Windows. We've seen this in some places previously. So text predictions were going to be part of the November version update to customers. Um, so I think that's now changing to early February. Oh, sorry, that was for preview customers. And now it's going to be early February instead of January for general release. Um, and an earlier version was rolled out to customers um, in current channel preview, uh, in, preview in December, uh, which would be updated to the new release. So how will this affect your organization? Well, when this update rolls out, um, users will see text predictions when writing an email message in English. Uh, when, they see, uh, when they see suggested text in Outlook for Windows, users can accept the suggested text uh, by pressing tab, or they can just keep typing uh, to ignore it. Uh, so text predictions will be on by default and users can disable them using the mail options um, in Outlook. So if you are managing a series of users who use Outlook, then maybe drop them a quick email first of all, let them know that um, this change is coming and then you can actually um, help prepare them for it. And if people don't like this sort of thing, you can also provide some instructions on how they might be able to disable it. That could be very useful for them. Um, so what do you need to do pre to prepare? Um, so it's considered a Microsoft 365 connected experience and it can be managed through policy settings as well um, uh, for privacy controls. So you can actually, as an admin, change this for all your users anyway. And as uh, Microsoft says, you might want to notify your users about the new capability and update your training documentation as appropriate. It's a standard line on these Measure Center items. Okay, so that's what's coming. Uh, we should see that rolling out soon. As usual, please do add some comments. Let me know what you think of this change in this feature. Are you using it? Are you blocking it? Um, what do your users think? I'll be very interested to hear. But for now, that's all. Thank you very much and goodbye.